All right, we're back. Hey, everybody. Ultra cold plasma time. Ultra cold plasma. And really, you trust that kind of banking? Yes. I fucking, like... So I've, he has... Okay, hold on. So you have a check-in for... Oh, like I, I just pointed out you had a check, yeah. right? That I said was undeposited. My, my latest paycheck from work, yeah. And you go, no, it is deposited. Yeah. And I was like, bullshit, it's in my hand. <laughs> it's not... It doesn't... It's not the canceled check when it actually gets deposited. Right. Right? So, it's like, it's not deposited. And you're like, oh, I just did it on my phone. Yeah. I've got mobile deposit at my bank. So you trust that? Yeah. You trust their encryption system? Why, like... What does the encryption system matter? Like someone's going to intercept my check as it's being uploaded to their website and deposited in the same moment? I don't know. Exactly. Stupid shit like that happens all the goddamn time. You can't just be a fucking Luddite because, oh my god, it's on the internet, therefore it's less secure. What the fuck do you think they do when you deposit it at the bank? They probably take a picture of it, I'm sorry, scan it, because that's the old school version of taking a picture of it, save it in their records, and then shred the check. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds better. That sounds a lot better it's, than it being intercepted between a third party. It's not. And I It's I not any more than you physically carrying the check to a place. I do not trust that at all. Like, 100%. Like, if you can get... If you can go on the black market, if you go on the Silk Road, right? Yeah. And you could buy a hacking program for 10 bucks that can break into, like, fucking super sensitive systems... Actually, Kali Linux is free, but... Okay. Well, the point is that you could just buy something for 10 bucks and break into a major network mm -hmm. like that. That's not really how it works, though. No, it really is how it works. Like, they don't sell a hacking program to break into a super secure system. Yeah, they, they do. They sell individual vulnerabilities for a certain system. Like, you, you don't get, like... Zero days aren't universal, dude. You can't be, like... It's not like the movies are like, oh yeah, he's got the best hacks. He's got, he can get into anyone's hacking things because he's such a good fucking hacker. Like, you, you need, there are specific vulnerabilities for specific websites, and like most of the things that get sold on the internet are like password dumps of people who have used one of those vulnerabilities themselves, gotten a ton of usernames and passwords, and post them up on the internet for either cheap money or for free, for the lulls. So you're cool with someone getting access to your password to your bank account? I uh, use a strong password and a password manager. You're not getting what I'm, you're not picking up what I'm putting down, are you? I wouldn't be happy with them getting the password to my banking account any more than I would be I'm happy just, with them. I'm just saying that I think it's easier for someone who has unlimited time to sit there and hack into your information. Yeah, but if they just get... buy your information because someone got it because they intercepted it. But if they get my password, they can just transfer all the money out of my account anyway. That has nothing to do with mobile deposit. Yeah, because they have access because you're online, right? Yeah. So you need a password in order to access it online. Yes. Correct? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying is that mobile banking so you is just, dangerous. You just don't believe in an online banking system? No, okay. I believe in online you, like, commerce. Okay. I don't believe in online uh, banking. I don't think that's secure enough. I think they have... You have to go to a physical bank anytime you want to move money in your account? I think it's the current state they have, like, our encryption systems and things like that. Yeah. I just think that it's not strong enough. It's never going to be strong enough then, dude. I... No, I'm not saying it has to be, like, 100% guaranteed. I'm just saying that if it's a 10-year-old can shut down the FBI for a day then I'm saying we need to upgrade our shit. It's not- okay. Like, I'm just saying- The it's FBI before. needs to update their shit, but- So you're telling me TD Bank is like, oh yeah, I totally care. Cause they really don't. Cause like, Apple gets hacked all the time, and fucking the FBI gets hacked, and like, cause they have really smart people working on this shit. Okay, but again, they I'm, still get hacked. I'm <laughs> saying the flip side though, so you just don't belong to any banks that provide mobile banking? I don't, I don't partake in the mobile banking at all. You I don't have an account on their website? No, I do not. That, that is weird to me. Like, until they, until they somebody can, can shoulder, dude, somebody can just shoulder surf you and get your ATM passcode if they really wanted to, and then they, all they need to do is fucking pickpocket your card. Like, which they're in a better opportunity to do because you're in a fucking public place fucking around with your cards and your wallet. So, you think it's easier for someone to pickpocket me than it is for someone who has unlimited time? See, like, your scenario is- Yes, they because- have... Yes, because a strong password will take unlimited time to crack. Like, 
It's not unlimited. It, it requires it requ okay. It requires a, a vulnerability in TD Bank's encryption software somewhere along the chain, which does happen. But that means you're only vulnerable until you update your password and they fix the breach, which tends to happen very quickly. And the reason, you know, that shit's FDIC insured, like everything else. So I'm not super worried that like somebody's going to get the twenty fucking dollars in my bank account. Okay, well I'm just I'm just saying in general, it's just until they until a ten year old doesn't have the ability to shut down a federal agency's uh, shit for like a day or two, uh, that's I'm not game for this online thing. So you're a Luddite, because you're never going to stop living in that world, especially when you say that like the FBI system is the one that will determine whether or not you can use a, your bank account uh, online. Online, yeah. I because will, I will continue to bring my checks into the bank if that's the case. The security that the FBI uses is no fucking is has basically nothing to do with the internet security that a bank uses. Like, yeah, a ten year old can walk into the FBI's offices because the FBI did the equivalent of leaving the keys in the door. So you're saying that a bank would never do that? No, I'm saying that if they do, it'll suck, but the fucking money is insured, it's a risk you take the same way you risk getting robbed when you withdraw a thousand bucks from the ATM. I think it's a lot- Don't do it in a shitty part of town. I think it's a lot- I think it's like, a lot different than you dropping a password online, or dropping, like, your actual check and doing your banking online compared to doing it in person. Like, it's a lot less riskier if you do it in person compared to online. Why? Because you have millions of people trying to break your shit online compared to if I just walk in and hand my money to the guy. It's one dude I have to... is the okay, fail point. but here's the thing. Compared to millions of people trying to break your shit. You, you're pretending you don't live in the future and that all of your money isn't ones and zeros on a computer somewhere anyway. It's not all ones and zeros yeah. all the time? Yes, dude. Yeah, the number on your bank account, it's not like they have the cash there for you in a box. But no, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying that they can get access to it a lot faster and a lot easier compared to someone robbing me at an ATM. Not really. Yeah. No. They have, they have millions of people breaking into systems every single day. They don't. They don't have millions of people breaking into systems. It's not that widespread. It's not that widespread? No. You're it's, telling me we're to not, wake up. Yeah, we're not... <laughs> Dude. You're, you're over thousands of people, sure. Millions, no. So, one person I hand my check to compared to a thousand people trying to grab your check. One you're taking a risk with a thousand people compared to me with one person. No, I'm not. <laughs> because if the bank gets hacked, they can empty out accounts either way. If the bank gets robbed, they will take your dollars out of your money drawer at that bank, and then you'll still be fucking insured for it, just like I'll be if there's a password breach. The same way, fucking, if you, like, spend money in a shitty place, and they use your credit card info or give you a bad charge, you can contest the charges. It's not, like, the end of the world if someone gets your password. You fucking change your password, you sort out the mess with the bank, because the odds are they fucked up, and you move on with your day. Instead of, like, having to drive to the bank and demand what's going on. You won't actually know what's going on because you won't know the money's missing from your account until you make your fucking trip to the bank that you do once a week because you have to drive there. I can check where my money's at every day. I can see if there's any discrepancies and get, like, account statements every day. Well, I am going to be a Luddite then. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we established that, and I'm glad that I've made no fucking progress this whole episode. <laughs> Because I've been busy arguing with you and going back and forth and being like, why am I trapped? Where do I go? What do I do? Yeah, speaking of not making any progress, you literally bounce back and forth between this door and another goddamn door. <laughs> because there's the for arrow. 10 minutes. Where the fuck does it want me to go? It, want, it wants me to get the ultra cold plasma, which is. Which is some other serious bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is going on this episode? I'm sorry, people. We'll put an annotation on if you don't want to hear us bitch about 
fucking Rob being a Luddite, then just skip this episode, okay? I'll I'll put the just put, I'll, put, put that I'll put a fucking always sunny intro <laughs> yeah. to the beginning. Just, yeah, just if you want to skip our my Rob's bullshit about his yeah our fucking backwards thinking, just just here's the skip to the funny part. Our fucking Federalist versus Anti-Federalist yeah. debate going down right here. <laughs> Uh, God damn it. Yeah. I think it's because it's hot in this room. It's, Holy shit, I it's, didn't realize it's that. It's summertime, but I want to turn on the air. Because, Dear God. Yeah. No, you don't want this controller back, my hands. Oh, my... Oh, dude, I got... Uh, you got some ball sweat. I do. It's serious swamp, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a problem. This is, this is a problem. We'll address that next time. We'll address this next time. Bye, guys. Bye.